Welcome to DUT. 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 Sigu Segele, we've got you. 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 Together achieving greatness. 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 Day two, becoming a DUT student. Welcome to the Durban University of Technology's first ever virtual institution-wide integrated first-year student orientation. The orientation program is part of the six... Sigusege, we've got you. We've got you, holistic student support initiatives. A collaborative effort of many departments within the DUT ecosystem aimed at holistically enhancing your campus life experience and creating an enabling living and learning environment for students to pursue their academic and co-curricular activities. DUT is itself a developing university. Our strength is enhanced by its diversity of cultures and traditions among its staff and students and different cultures of the different universities that were combined to form DUT. DUT, an institution with a proud and rich heritage of academic entrepreneurship and leadership excellence. DUT offers a broad spectrum of accredited academic qualifications clustered in the six faculties which are Health Sciences, Management Sciences, Accounting and Informatics, Applied Sciences, Engineering and Built Environment, Arts and Design. Before we start, let's take a short lift to our beautiful campuses. DUT is geographically divided into seven campuses in the Durban and Midland centres, namely Steve Biko Campus. All courses with the Faculties of Engineering and Built Environment and the Faculty of Applied Sciences are based on this campus. And many other departments within the student services sector, inclusive of financial aid. Student Counseling and Health, Student Governance and Development, HIV and AIDS, Isolempilo Clinic, Academic Support Offices such as the Alan Pittenderg Library, Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching and the Writing Center. Ritson Campus has the Chiropractic Housing the Faculties of Health Sciences and the Faculty of Accounting and Informatics, Ritson Campus has the Chiropractic, Homeopathic and Somatology Clinics. The hotel school is also based on this campus. ML Sultan Campus. Courses within the Faculty of Management Sciences are in this campus. Other offices such as the Entrepreneurial Desk and Center, BM Patel Library and the e-learning and multimedia offices of CELT. City Campus, the home for the artistic and creative minds, the Faculty of Arts and Design is based on this campus. Brickfield Campus, students doing fashion, graphic design and other courses within the Faculty of Arts and Design are on this campus.
The Midland Centre is geographically located at the Pietermarsberg region with two campuses, namely Indumiso Campus and Riverside Campus. Indumiso Campus, located in the heart of Imbali Township. The campus has three academic departments, Civil Engineering, Nursing Science and School of Education. And all the academic support and student services departments, such as Students Housing and Res Life, Midlands Entrepreneurship Centre and Student Desk. Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching, CELT. Clinic, Library and Sport Administration, to name a few. The Riverside campus is located at Scottsville. There are eight academic departments at this campus, namely Applied Management Sciences, Public Relations and Communication Management, Business Administration, Human Resource Management, Public Management, Ecotourism and Accounting and Informatics, Cost and Management Accounting, Financial Accounting and Business Information System. For supporting service departments at Riverside Campus, we have Finance Department, Financial Aid, Administration, Students' Library, Clinic, Students' Counseling, Student Governance and SRC Office. We have an array of support departments, services and staff members who are well trained and equipped to support you throughout your academic journey, ranging from the Library, Financial Aid, Admissions, Student Housing and Residence Life, Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching, Student Governance, Student Counselling, Entrepreneurship Desk and Health and many more. DUT, Together Achieving Greatness. Day 2, Becoming a DUT Student. Students, parents, guardians and our stakeholders, again welcome to Day 2 of our virtual institution-wide integrated first-year student orientation. In ensuring adherence to the COVID-19 regulations, we have since opted to meet in this fashion. Worry not, all the orientation sessions will be recorded and made available to students post the orientation. Welcome to the DUT Libraries. In this session, we'll introduce you to the services offered by the DUT Library that will help you succeed in your academic life. DUT has six campus libraries in Durban as well as in the Midlands. Your student card doubles as your library card, giving you access to the library, facilities across the campuses. The library houses a wide variety of resources from books, journals, CDs and DVDs. We also have a subscription to online resources and databases. Much of our collection is available online and can be searched using the library discovery system called Salmon. This system allows you to access content from anywhere on campus and even via a smartphone. Each faculty or site has one or more subject librarian assigned to it. The subject librarian ensures that the library resources are relevant to your department. The subject librarian is also responsible for training students in library usage and helping you find the relevant information. They are always happy to assist. For issuing and borrowing, you will need to visit the circulation desk. There you will be able to borrow and renew your materials. There is also a book drop facility that is available when the library is closed. We have a short loan section which is at the circulation desk. 
that's where we keep all our prescribed textbooks and all the material that is high in demand. These materials only go out for two hours. This ensures that all of you have equal access to the library material. All our libraries have photocopying, printing and scanning facilities. For you to be able to use this, you need to have student card and load credit on it. The library has computer facilities that you can use for academic studies and our libraries are also Wi-Fi enabled. There are also dedicated laptop areas where you can come with your laptop and be able to plug your laptop there at a comfortable sitting space. You may borrow a laptop at the circulation desk. Some of our libraries have self-service facility which allows you to issue and return items without our circulation staff. We have a comprehensive study facility for group work, individual study cubicles and we also have a dedicated postgraduate research common. What we want you to take from this session is that we are here to help you. We can make your life much easier and save you a lot of time. There's a librarian waiting for you to ask questions via the live chat feature and that's a great option if you're off campus, especially during these trying times of the COVID-19. Our library website can be found at library.dut.ac.za. Please note, take note of the summon search, the Ask a Librarian feature, the live chat, the databases A to Z, the exam papers, the subject research guides. Our websites, you, on our website, you'll find links to resources and tutorials that will assist you with your studies, including access to past exam papers. What I want to stress to you is the Ask a Librarian feature. Library staff are here to help you and it's so easy to get hold of us. We also have a live chat service where you get instant answers from your librarian. Another helpful feature is our subject research guides. These have been designed with you in mind. They host information and links to sites and tutorials specific to your course. We have so many different resources available for you that it's often so difficult to choose or to know where to start. And that's where the subject guides help. And they can also link you to your librarian who can assist you in finding information in your field. When you want to get started with finding information for your assignment, you can use the search box highlighted under the Simon search. Simon is, is in is our in-house discovery service and operates like Google search, but searches all the library's resources. We have so many databases and we've arranged them under the A to Z list so that it's easier for you to find them. You'll find the A to Z list under databases A to Z. That's where all, that's where all the databases are arranged according to your discipline. We also want you to know that we have a vast variety of ebooks available to you, but we also have plenty of print books. But what you may prefer to use is our ebooks because there's more convenience there. You can use them anywhere, anytime. Please contact us if you have any more questions. Visit our website. Just remember that we have the Ask a Librarian and our live chat button waiting there for you and our friendly librarians will provide you with a friendly service. Thank you so much for attending today and please remember, we are here anytime to answer your questions. We wish you a very successful academic journey. Allow me to introduce our first speaker, Mzwandile Kumalo, Student Support and Development Unit, Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. Hi everyone. My name is Mzwandile Kumalo. I am from the Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching, and particularly the unit called Student Support and Development. In our unit, we have a number of programs that speaks directly to you as a first-year student at the Devon University of Technology, namely 
the first year student experience, the resident educational program, academic advising, senior year student experience, and also the technology for learning. Our programs are focused on three things, mainly academic support, psychosocial support, and also technological support. The first year student experience program simply focuses on making sure that we nurture you through your transition from basic education into the higher education space. And then the resident educational programs are basically academic tutorials where we provide you additional support for the different modules that you are doing with our tutors who are well trained and who are well ready to help you succeed in your first year. Ours is to make sure that we support you academically and to make sure that you succeed and to make sure that we make your experience here at DET as smooth and seamless as possible. So please do take advantage of these services that we have availed to you. I am based in the Devon campuses. I have a colleague called Peter Kalanga who is based in the Midlands campuses. My email is mzwandileke at dut.ac.za and Peter's email is tembinkosik1 at dut.ac.za. If you feel like you are lost or if you feel that you need support through your academic uh, uh, programs, please make sure that you do contact us and we shall be available to help you. Thank you. Our next speaker is Simon Glovu, Coordinator of Technology for Learning Center of Excellence in Learning and Teaching. Hi students, welcome to DUT. My name is Simon Lobo. I am from Center for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. I am the coordinator of a program called Technology for Learning. In short, it's TFL. This program is responsible for training students on using the online systems that DUT have. So basically, we are going to train you guys on how to use Moodle we are also going to train you guys on how to use Microsoft Teams and other DUT online systems that you are going to use in order for you to study or access your material. And a Moodle is going to be used to access your studying material, such as your, your study guides, your notes, and you are also going to use it to, um, to conduct your tests and also for your assignments. And then Microsoft Teams, on the other hand, you are going to use it to attend virtual classes or online classes with your lecturer. Even the training that you are going to take, it's going to be online. So uh, feel free to contact us at any time. We have a call center, which you can call or should you have any problem or an email. We are going to leave our details in our study guides and we are going to also add you on our classroom on Microsoft Teams as well as on Moodle. Uh, our email address is tflstudentsupport at dut.ac.za. Thank you. Our next speaker is Tepi Sotusi from the Department of Student Counseling and Health. Hi, my name is Tepi Sotusi from the Department of Student Counseling. I'm here to tell you more about our services. Student Counseling provides psychological and consultative services for both undergraduate and postgraduate students. Its aim is to provide counseling or therapy to students to help them cope with personal, academic, and, ac and career-related concerns which might prevent them from successfully completing their course. So you might want to find out what is counseling. So counseling is a confidential relationship 
between a psychologist and a client, in this case, a student, to help them explore uh, self-awareness and personal um, resources that could help them cope through their life obstacles. So, psychologists that we have there are fully qualified and registered with the HPCSA, which means we, we, we maintain um, ethical and confidentiality. So, you don't have to worry about what you talk about during the consultation, about it being on your academic record or having your lectures find out, unless it's through your consent. So, what are some of the common concerns that students bring to our department? It ranges, like I mentioned earlier, from personal, academic, and career-related issues. So your personal uh, concerns could be related to your anxieties, for example, uh, depression, family conflicts, grief, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and your academic concerns could be related to maybe time management skills. You want to work with a psychologist to find out effective ways of managing your time. It could be related to uh, time concession. It could be related to also um, career guidance. So maybe you want to change your career and you want to seek guidance with your psychologist to find out what other options you can explore. So currently for now, because of the, uh, the pandemic, all our consultations are done online. So you'll have to book online to find your time slots. So all our information regarding our booking is available online. During uh, crisis uh, situations, we do have a psychologist who's constantly available to manage uh, crisis, crisis interventions. We also do uh, offer workshops for students dealing with various topics as well as we offer um, support groups to manage all different kinds of topics. For example, one of them is uh, depression, anxiety. So look out for those in our website. Next on the program is Sipe Sisengubo from the HIV and AIDS Center. Hi. My name is Sipe Sihle Ngobo, and I'm from the Department of Student Counseling and Health, HIV Center. Welcome to Durban University of Technology. The HIV Center provides a comprehensive package of health promotion activities for both student and staff through webinars, dialogues, awareness campaigns, focusing on behavioral change communication. The operations of the HIV Center are directed by the DUT Envision 2030, the DUT HIV AIDS Policy, the National Strategic Plan for HIV and AIDS, TB and STI 2017 to 2020, as well as the AIDS Policy Framework. Due to the dynamic and diverse nature of the DUT community, the HIV Center continues on and periodically improve its efficacy of the interventions and ensures that we promote and implement effective programs that directly addresses the barriers or the identified barriers affected by the students and staff. Therefore, the services we provide include the prevention of new STI, TB and HIV infections through workshops, trainings, as well as orientation programs. We also develop and sustain a peer education program amongst DUT students. We sustain all the sustainability of health and wellness in order for us to promote the treatment, care and support approach. We also engage in curriculum integration whereby we reach students in the classroom through teaching the HIV and AIDS communicable diseases module, as well as fostering uh, partnerships with both internal as well as external stakeholders. If you would like to get a hold of us, 
Our offices are situated in Steve Biko campus, third floor maintenance building, as well as office number 17 of the financial aid lower library complex, also at Steve Biko campus. Please note that whilst our offices are based in Durban, we also work across all campuses in DUT, including Midlands in Peter Maritzburg. If you'd also like to get a hold of us in our various social media platforms, we have a Facebook page and our handle is at DUT HIV and AIDS. Our Instagram handle is at DUT HIV Center, as well as Twitter at DUT HIV Center. Once again, welcome to Durban University of Technology. Next on the program, Pumzile Monacheng from the Korea Resource Center. Hi everyone, my name is Pumzile Monacheng. I am the career advisor based at the Steve Biko campus. Um, I am based at the Career Resource Center. Career Resource Center is a unique office that is dedicated at helping students with any career-related challenges. We also offer career assessments and career counseling. So basically our career assessments will assess your personality, your aptitude, your interest, and your study habits. From this information, we gather everything around and we assist students in making the relevant career decisions. If they want to transition, we'll also take this information and assist students in choosing uh, careers that are suitable for them and careers that will, will ensure that the students will pass and graduate from that particular um, career that they have chose. So basically, we also offer um, a self-assessment that we call our PACE assessment. Our PACE assessment is a self-assessment that you can get it on our DUT website. You basically just take that, web, that, career, um, that career assessment and then answer a few questions and then you'll get a dedicated report after, after completing that assessment. And then you can make an appointment with your career assessor and then you discuss that assessment. We also offer uh, CV writing classes. We also offer bursary and scholarship information. We do mock interviews for students who have actual interviews lined up. We also offer uh, international and, and national information on all the courses that are offered by DUT. So our career resource uh, center is available remotely as well. You can contact her at uh, an email that is pumzilem3 at dut.ac.za. She's available on Monday from 8 a.m. until Thursday at um, 16 p.m., which is 4 o'clock. And then on Fridays, she's available from 8 a.m. until 3 o'clock in, in, in the afternoon. We also have a career resource center at the Peter Marisbeck campus, which is in the Midland campus. If you have any career-related challenges and you are a student in the Midland campus, you can simply email cindy.dgamini at dut.ac.za. And here, Sisem Banjwa, Acting Director for Student Services and Development in the Midland Center. Hello, everyone. My name is Sisem Banjwa from the Midlands Center. I am currently Acting Director at the Student Services and Development at the Midlands Center. As you've heard from our colleagues talking about the Wellness Center services available to our students, um, I just wanted to indicate that all the services that they were referring to which are within the student counseling um, or the wellness center are also available in our midlands campuses we have at the riverside campus the counseling and the clinic situated at the j block where also the student services and development offices are we also have at the Indomiso campus um, the clinic 
the campus clinic at the Indomiso, as well as the counseling services within the Indomiso clinic. Um, the clinic is situated behind the admin block at the Indomiso campus. As our colleagues have already indicated, all the services that they have made reference to, from the counseling services, to the health services, to the career resource uh, uh, services, are available at our Midlands uh, campuses as well. Should you require further information with regards to the services uh, available at the Student uh, Services um, and Development Centre, which uh, within it has the Wellness Centre, please follow the links that would be provided um, in the Student Survival Pack. Thank you very much. Allow me to introduce Mr. Masiza Ngulu, Manager for Student Governance and Development Department. Thanks to all our first year students. Congratulations for having made it this far. Welcome to DUT. Speaking with you is Masiza Ngulu from Student Governance and Development Department. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please lend me your ears as I tell you a little bit about Student Governance and Development Department. To give you a rough explanation of the university, the university is standing on two legs, the academic departments and the support departments. Student Governance, Deve Student Governance and Development Department is one of the support departments dealing with students self-development. What do I mean by that? As student governance and development, we host various student organizations. These organizations may be political, denominational, lifestyle, cultural, business interests, etc. The choice is yours to make which to join, which to support, or indeed which to oppose. We also host self-development workshops. In 2021, these are to be consolidated into a leadership academy. In conjunction with entrepreneurship desk of the university, student housing, CELT, and other academic departments, this year we're going to host a first ever DUT business festival. It will happen in August 2021. Keep your eyes open for the advertisements. You may just be the next big business mogul to be produced by DUT. Importantly, the department is also a custodian of students' democracy, facilitating democratic elections of Student Representative Council, popularly known as the SRC. The department is also home to the Disability Rights Unit. The unit is about advocacy for students living with disabilities. Both students living with disabilities and those who are not living with disabilities are encouraged to participate in activities of this important unit. To contact our department, please email naidua at dut.ac.za naidu, N-A-I-D-O-O-A at dut.ac.za the phone number to our department is 031-373-2683. In Durban, the physical address of our offices is at the maintenance building in Steve Bigo campus, accessed through gate 7. In Peter Marisberg, we are at Riverside campus on block, on H block. The Midlands Entrepreneurship Center and Student Desk, led by Ms. Nondogo Zongobo. My name is Nondogo Zongobo, the Midlands Entrepreneurship Center and Student Desk Manager. The center is part of the DUT Entrepreneurship Cluster under the portfolio of the DVC Research, Innovation and Engagement. 
The cluster includes Duty Entrepreneurial Center and Desk in Devon, led by Ms. Kanyele, Duty in Actors, led by Ms. Brady, and Center for Social Entrepreneurship, led by Dr. Pillay, and of course, the Midlands Entrepreneurship Center. Yeah. What do we do then? The Midlands Entrepreneurship Center offers both theoretical and technical entrepreneurial learning, support, and activities to students based in the Midlands, neighboring communities, and local entrepreneurs. Our vision is to become a center of excellence that produces entrepreneurs and business leaders who build thriving and sustainable enterprises that leave an enduring legacy in our communities. Thank you, enjoy. Is a center of excellence that uses adaptable and scientifically based models to impact and uplift students and surrounding communities. We provide practical, industry specific, and tailor made entrepreneurial support. We aspire to be a center of excellence that produces entrepreneurs and business leaders who build thriving and sustainable enterprises that leave an enduring legacy in our communities. We offer a diversified portfolio of solutions and services designed to meet the needs of our diverse, innovative students and neighboring communities. We live the DUT values and our people-centric and engaged entrepreneurial center that creates adaptable and innovative entrepreneurs that live the core objectives of the university. The solutions and services that we offer are intended to meet the dire needs of our studentpreneurs and our neighboring community. Our offerings include, but are not limited to, business registrations, compliance, business mentorship, business coaching, seed funding, business exchange programs, and a variety of training programs. The Midlands Entrepreneurship Centre and Student Desk has also aligned itself with Envision 2030 through its community engagement initiatives such as the Clean Up Campaign, the One Home One Garden Campaign and the Adopt a School Campaigns. We thrive in productively participating in the development of our region, country and the world at large. We have also strengthened our partnership and collaboration with the Umgungunjovu TVET Colleges through the entrepreneurial and skills program that we have launched. In collaboration with the TVET College, we participated in the 2020 UNESCO Univoc Virtual World Skills Day training. The skills celebrated on that day showcase that the center is truly committed towards producing resilient and skilled youth and studentpreneurs that will take on the world. And up next, John Pillay from Protection Services and Health and Safety. Hi, I'm John Pillay, Senior Officer, Department of Protection Services. The Department of Protection Services of the DUT is entirely responsible for the safety of people and property. Whenever a person enters any of the DUT sites, the first line of contact is the security officer at the access control points. We have security control rooms at all of the campuses in Durban and at the Midlands. At each of the control rooms, we have security officers to assist you with crime-related matters, with direction if you need, reporting suspicious persons or activities, reporting of safety hazards and security breaches. Protection services consist of the Operations and Investigations Division, the Card Production and Parking Permit Unit, the CCTV Division, and the Administration Division. The Physical Security Function is undertaken by Isikova Security Services, who are contracted to the University 
Mr. Bongani Derek Imdoga is a director of protection services and he oversees all operations at the Durban and Midlands campuses. On completion of your registration, you will be issued with a student card, which you are requested to produce at the excess control points at the campuses and residences on entry. Your student cards are not transferable. Lost or stolen student cards must be reported to protection services. Should you require a permit to park on campus parking, complete a form that is available at security control rooms. And once you have, as a licensed driver, you will be issued with a parking disc. Parking disc cost 50 rands for an entire year. Remember that your vehicle is, will be subjected to a search by security officers at any of the excess control points. Some items that are prohibited on campus. Number one is drugs and alcohol. Number two is firearm. The DUT is a firearm free zone. Number three are weapons or items that are perceived as dangerous. Persons in possession of such can be prosecuted. Protection services view gender-based violence in a serious light. Such cases reported are investigated and appropriate action are taken against the offenders. Cases are also reported to the South African Police Services. We encourage all students that should you be a victim of crime to report to the Protection Services Department with necessary information so that the matter can be investigated and the perpetrators brought to book. We pride ourselves as a safe campus, this with the assistance of CCTV camera monitoring. We have cameras that are monitored 24 seven. We have also constant patrols by the physical security element. Whilst this be said, we encourage all staff and students to take care of their personal property. The DUT Durban campuses are situated right alongside the busiest bus and taxi ranks in Durban. So should you frequent these areas, take the necessary safety precautions. At DUT, we encourage you to adhere to all COVID-19 protocols. On entry at the access points, ensure that you have your face mask on. At the access points, your body temperature will be taken and your hands will be sanitized. You will also be requested to produce your permit and or your student cards. Whilst on campus, please practice social distancing and keep your face mask on, except when eating. Remember that no gatherings are permitted on campus. Our 24 hour protection services line is 031 373 2181 and 2182. 
Thank you. Up next, Lashono Holo Mukushulwane from the Safety, Health and Environment Department. Hi everyone, my name is Leso from Health and Safety Department. Welcome to the Devon University of Technology. Um, as a department, we are here to serve you in terms of health and safety. So if there is anything that violates your health and safety in the university, we have a responsibility to preserve such lives as yours. So do not hesitate to report anything that is health and safety related to these numbers, 031-373-2769 or 2488-2914. Or Enjoy your stay at DUT. God bless you. Thank you. Next on the program, Nivia Somaru. Good day to all new and returning students. My name is Nivia Somaru, and I am the Faculty Academic Development Practitioner for the Faculty of Applied Sciences. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to the faculty as well as to DUT and hope that you make the most of your stay here with us. The faculty and DUT have a number of programs that we can offer to assist students and to support you throughout the development of your studies. I hope that I get the opportunity to engage with each of you as time may permit. All the best to you for your studies and welcome to DUT. Thank you. Up next, we have Mr. Nurelin Subrayin, Academic Development Practitioner. Faculty of Health Sciences. Welcome to one of the smartest faculties, the Faculty of Health Sciences. In fact, welcome to one of the prestigious and upcoming universities, the Durban University of Technology. My name is Nirolin Subrayan, and I am your academic development practitioner for the faculty. We are here to help you make that transition from matric into university or if you're coming from another university, or if you've been out of school for a while. We are here to help you with a variety of things, such as your soft skills, your time management, uh, study techniques, and so forth. We are also here to help you to refer you to the various campus facilities should you need, be it student counseling, library, funding, housing, etc. But let me not bore you too much with the details. As soon as you get onto campus, you can ask any of your lecturers or your department for the academic development practitioner details, and they will gladly refer you to me. We really hope to see you around, and we'll catch you on the other side. Thank you. We have come to the end of the first segment. We shall meet again at 2 p.m. for the live sessions for questions and answers, and there are great prizes to be won.